from the vault. Okay, lots more trinkies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're wondering why so many trinkies? Because I have a lot of at 7021 EATs and I gotta get rid of them. Um, so, no, I'm just kidding. I, I, I do have a lot, but I also had these trinkies that I, were waiting for me to have uh, Sam D21Es in stock because they make for great trinkies. Look at the bottom. There's almost nothing on there. Uh, this has a, a NeoPixel and on the other side, a little thumbstick. Um, I think these are the same thumbsticks used on the PS Vita. Okay. Um, anyways, they're, they're compatible. They're, they don't have a press in, but they do have XY analog input. So you can plug this in. You have a little joystick connected to your USB port. Maybe it would act like a mouse, or maybe it would, uh, you know, just give you XY coordinates over serial port. I don't know. Find out. Um, next, I'm designed um, many more Pico Bells, Pico Bells, or Pico Bell compatibles. This is an underplate. So if you go to the previous, you can plug the Pico on top. It plugs right in, so there's no soldering required, and you get a reset button and a uh, stem QT port, and then each pin is doubled. There's like two rows on the header, so you can plug in wires. So it makes it easy. There's a little prototyping area on the middle. Okay. And then a doubler. So it's like now you want like a Pico and then a Pico Bell on the other side, and then the other side has battery charging and an enable switch on off. So this would be really good for like wireless projects where we didn't have a battery charger and you want to be able to turn it off. Um, this is a camera Pico Bell. So uh, we do have camera support for the RP2040 for using like the OV5640 or OV2640 or whatever. Um, the problem is that the wiring is a total nightmare. And so this kind of does all the wiring for you. It uses a lot of pins, but you get full color camera with JPEG or uh, well, RGB output. And then there's a little micro SD slot. You can save your images, a little button for like a shutter. And then all the power <laughs> supply stuff you need to uh, to use it. Uh, and then finally, this, people really like this one. This was a thing I just tossed off really quickly. I took the ESP32 S2 feather and took the S2 off. And I replaced it with the C6. This is the new Wi-Fi 6 and Zigbee slash thread slash matter uh, module from Espressif. Um, we do have some CircuitPython support for it, although I don't think we have any Zigbee support um, or any coming soon. In fact, I think the Zigbee isn't even in Arduino yet. It's, it's only in the IDF. Uh, this is like your standard feather. Um, not as many pins on the little mini module, but I kind of scrolls out enough to give you, um, you know, analog pins, SPI, I squared C. Uh, only two pins are shared between like the digital and the uh, analog. I have to share two pins, but you have a low power pin. So disabling the second LDO that powers the NeoPixel and I squared C port. Uh, and then a BME 280 and then a battery monitor. So this is kind of like a nice, like it could, could make for a really good matter development board. And that's top secret. New top secret. Get in the vault.